golly gee, that just looks so fun. I want to woo too. And so they wooed. Woo! All right, thank you, contestant number one. Contestant number two. Contestant number two has grown up in a family where their parents have always wooed. Wooing in the house, wooing in the car, even wooing at the neighborhood block party. If my parents can woo, so can I, they thought. And so they wooed. Woo! Contestant number two. Contestant number three, come on out. Contestant number three found out one night that their friends had gone out for a fun night of wooing without them. They had never really been into wooing before, but ever since their good-for-nothing friends went without them, now all they want to do is woo. So she joined her friends, and she wooed. Woo! job for a while and the short lunch breaks just isn't enough anymore for to rest from paperwork and phone calls they thought oh my what can I do to get away from all of this stress some of my co-workers take breaks to woo I could get at least two more breaks if I wooed as well and so they wooed Woo! contestant number four contestant number five Contestant number five no longer cares about being the goody-goody that everyone expects them to be. Goody-goodies don't woo. Goody-goodies never woo. But I want to woo. And so they wooed and wooed and wooed. Let's get a round of applause for our lovely contestants. contestants really wooing? What's really happening beneath the woo? Contestant number one was watching a movie one night when she noticed that some people around her age were wooing. Because of her own need to feel and look cool like the people on the screen, she wanted to woo too. Even though she knew what it could do to her body, she still wanted to woo. So she wooed. Contestant number two grew up in a family where her, her parents wooed everywhere they went. She couldn't get away from it, and wooing was a part of her life now. She loved her family so much, and she felt that the only way that she could be a true member was to begin wooing as well. So she wooed. Contestant number three has just found out that some of her best friends had gone wooing without her. She always said that she wasn't into wooing, and she didn't think that her friends were either. Until now. Now she is left to feeling alone, and she's wondering if her friends really like her and whether or not they really want her around. She felt that the only way that she could find value in herself was to begin wooing. So she wooed. Contestant number four has been working at a stressful job for some time now. And even after having a lunch break, she's still exhausted. She felt that the only way that she could get any kind of escape from the stress of the workday, even for just a moment, was to begin wooing. Plus, all of her coworkers wooed too. So she wooed. Contestant number five is tired of everyone always expecting him to be the best and to never mess up. He decided that he was going to begin wooing because he wanted to be a good person but he felt like he couldn't live up to everyone's expectations. This is what drove him to wooing. Wooing because he just didn't care anymore. So he wooed. There is more beneath the surface of why people woo, and there's more beneath the surface of why people smoke. We talk about coughing, bad breath, and yellow teeth, but there's so much more to it than that, and the pressure is often hidden. This is what we want to be talking about why good people fall into bad habits. Thank you, contestants, for all of your help. Everyone give them a round of applause. <laughs>